Shelly Thrasher. Yeah, I'm a skater. I skate. Check it out. Camera. 90s vibes. You guys like my aesthetic? Yeah, I'm a skater, so I take my skateboard everywhere with me. I never ride it, though. Check it out. Kickflip. Ow. Oh, wow. What is up, homies? My name is Felix, and I'm here back again with another video for you all today. So, very unfortunately, I woke up this morning, and I realized that I had forgotten everything that I know about making beats and music and all that stuff. So, instead of, you know, binge-watching some tutorials from my favorite YouTuber, I decided that we would go to WikiHow and learn how to make a beat. So, that's what we're going to be doing here today. But make sure you guys check out my Instagram and my SoundCloud down in the description below, along with the playlist of the songs I produce, my beats from my Discord, all that stuff. Go check it out if you guys want to. And now we can learn how to make beats again. Thankfully, I do remember how to use Google, so we should be able to get to WikiHow. Hopefully, they will be able to teach me how to make beats again, because it does say WikiHow to do anything, and anything should mean anything. So let's see, um, how to make a beat. All right, this one says how to make a basic beat in Fruity Loops. So hopefully, that one should be able to help us. All right, so part one is creating a new project. Open FL Studio, double click the FL Studio icon. Uh, which looks like a yellow pepper, okay. And that will open an FL Studio window. I think we got this part down. We got that one down. Okay, so next step is click on file. That's, that's step two. And now step three is to select new from template, which is this right here. So this is gonna take a lot of steps here. Select a minimal. Okay, we're, we're getting there. Um, and now click basic. All right, this, now we're getting into the good part. Okay, let's see if I can remember correctly. File, new from template, minimal, and now basic. So now we're on to part two, adding channels and instruments. Um, add blank channels to your project. Before you can add instruments to your track, you need to place them in the channel rack. So basically it's saying we gotta click the plus icon and then click none at the top of the menu. Okay, so we have to do this, I'm assuming? Is this what they're saying to do, I think? And then it says repeat until you have enough channels. How do I know when I have enough channels though? Anyways, um, expand the packs folder. So we gotta click on the packs folder on the left side window, okay, right here. Now we have to select an instrument, drums, I guess. Uh, okay, it says drag the instrument onto a blank channel. This will add the instrument to the channel rack, but that's not what they're doing here at all. Okay, I guess I'll just do what they're doing, what? I mean, I guess we're gonna need these now. I'm, I'm not totally sure, but I think we'll need these. Close the instruments window. When the instruments mastering window opens, click X in the corner to close it. I have never in my entire life seen that happen. Do they mean this? This is not, what? All right, whatever. Um, repeat until you've added all of your instruments. Once you have every instrument that you want to use in your channel rack, you can proceed with adding the bass. Okay, well, first of all, how am I supposed to know what instruments I'm supposed to add here? I'm just supposed to add all the instruments that I want. How am I supposed to know what I want? I know nothing about making beats. How am I supposed to know what the instruments I'm supposed to add are? Anyways, whatever. Part three is creating the bass. Determine which drums you want to use. If you only place one drum in your channel rack, you'll select that instrument. However, many beats use a combination of drums. Ah, basically what I'm hearing is that there's some beats out there that use only one singular drum. Every once in a while, they put more than one drum in there, you know, just in case they want to spice things up by adding maybe maybe two drums or something like that. But anyways, it says here, meaning that you'll need to select the main bass sound and work your way down from there. I honestly have no idea what they're saying there. That makes no sense to me. Right click a drum's name. Doing so prompts a drop down menu. Okay, we got the drop down menu going. Scroll up or down while clicking different keys in the keyboard until you find the proper note for your bass. What? How am I supposed to know what's the proper note for the bass if there's nothing else in the th What? Step five is create a beat. Okay, so basically we just uh, go through all these other steps, you know, open the file, add some drums and stuff, and then we just create the beat and then we're done. Simple. <laughs> Add a melody if needed. If you want to use varying notes in your beat, scroll up or scroll down to select another note. Then add the beat markers like you did a what? Whatever, let's just add a piano, which they also didn't tell us how to do. But I just remembered that one, you know, off the dome, uh, thankfully. Okay, so let's just copy the same pattern that they have here, which is G, A, and F, and E. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, so this is the melody that WikiHow told us to make. Nice, that sounds, nah, that, 
Okay, step seven is remove a beat if needed. If you accidentally placed a beat marker on the wrong line, you can right click to delete it. All right, so it seems like they're calling the notes in the piano roll beats, which is very interesting. Uh, they're calling them beats or beat markers. That's definitely a very useful piece of advice and not at all confusing in any way. Okay, so step eight says repeat this part with other drums in your channel rack. Once you're satisfied with the background bass in your track, you can move on to adding the final part of your beat. So basically they're telling us to just do exactly what what we just did with that piano sound with all the other drums. So let's do that now. All right, so according to WikiHow, this is what we're supposed to do here. We're supposed to make this pattern with all of our drums and with our piano, which they're telling us is a bass. So that's, uh, so yeah, basically it looks like we got a pretty good thing going on so far. Part four is adding other instruments. So we've got to determine our main instrument. Main instruments can be anything from traditional instruments to synths and other sounds. Okay, so I think our main instrument uh, is gonna be that piano sound because that's the only instrument that we have. So if we right click an instrument's name, a drop down menu will appear, which they already told us that. It's interesting that they're making that another step. Now, if we click the piano roll, a blank piano interface will open, which they also already told us that. And now it's basically just repeating the exact thing that they already told us. Uh, draw your instrument's beat, just like you did with the bass. Click the boxes to the right of your preferred notes to select what? All right, so basically they're telling us that we have to do this with some sort of new instrument that they didn't actually tell us we need to add. And now step five says repeat this process with your other instruments if necessary. Okay, so basically like all of the other instruments that they didn't tell us to add, basically uh, we have to do that. What? All right, so it seems like from part three to part five, absolutely nothing at all has changed. There's literally no reason to include that last part because it's the exact same thing as the part right before. So now part five, which I think is the final part, is exporting your project. So we have to click file. Now they're going to make a new part for every single section of the drop down menu. So step one is click file. Step two is click export. Uh, step three is click mp3. Then we have to enter a name for our beat. Type in whatever you want to name your beat. Okay, so let's do this before it gets too confusing. Uh, file, export, mp3. So we got to name our beat, my new beat. So then I'm assuming we click save there. And it also says that it can take FL Studio several minutes to export our beat if it's fairly complicated. And I think our beat is fairly complicated based off of, you know, what they taught us here. So yeah, I think this might take a minute to export. So yeah, basically I think now the only thing left to do is listen to our fire beat that WikiHow just taught us how to make. Easy way to death, oh my God. <laughs> searching for a painless <laughs> oh my god that's enough internet for today so yeah that's gonna do it for me in this video i hope you guys enjoyed this one i hope you guys learned as much as i did about making beats today i think i'm a beat master professional extraordinaire now and it was all thanks to wikihow in all seriousness i hope you guys did enjoy this video of me goofing on wikihow i did not actually forget how to make beats but yeah make sure you guys check out my instagram my soundcloud down in the description below along the playlist of songs i produced my beat store my discord all that stuff go check it out if you guys want to and i'll see you in the next one Baby, come follow me. We could go somewhere far away. Baby, come home with me. Take you in and always keep. What? 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 what?